Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you are here and today I'm going to show you how I transformed this table I found into this beautiful breakfast nook table. Now I did have inspiration that I found through Pinterest, a perfect place to get inspired. And this was a table I saw in Pinterest and I really wanted something like this but i didn't want to go out and spend a bunch of money so i found this table through facebook a marketplace for forty dollars some person was selling it for forty dollars and i took a chance and i decided to try and redo this table now we are not professionals okay we literally don't know what we're doing we're kind of winging it and hoping for the best so what we decided to do was just sand this table down as you can see it looks like it was probably in a storage place that um and it got wet with all the rain that we have here in oklahoma it's not surprising so we just sanded it down as best we could we did take it apart and sanded each um piece as best we could and um yeah we bought this orbital sander through um tractor supply i believe not tractor supply harbor freight and they have some good deals if you're needing um some pieces some like machinery to like sand and cut and all that stuff they have always have some awesome coupons there but we are just going to be sanding it down and trying to remove as much of this black stain on the wood as possible because we really wanted this stain that we did add to the wood to look like really nice so we're just gonna be sanding and sanding away um as you will see later on my husband's going to be using a um belt sander because um the orbital sander i felt like um it did good but this um black stain on the wood was just um really deep in the wood so he took the um the uh, belt sander and sanded it down a little bit more and I feel like this is what really helped that black look on the wood um, get off the wood. I, I'm sure there's a way to like remove it with bleach and stuff. I just don't know how to do it. But um, again, we're amateurs over here. Okay, so we're using this stain, this min wax stain. It's English chestnut 233. We got it at Lowe's and I just went to town on this table. I put all stain all over the whole thing. The top of the table, the sides of the table, the legs and the pedestal as well. And I love this stain. I feel like um, the wood grain looks so pretty with this stain. And they have so many stains to choose from if you're looking for a different look. But I love this stain so much. I've used it on my coffee table as well. So I knew it was going to match it. And I was so happy with it. I was a little bit worried throughout this project thinking that we literally bit off more than we could chew because it was hard. All you people out there that redo furniture like and sell your pieces, you guys are rock stars. I, I couldn't imagine like doing this a bunch of times it was it was a lot it was a lot it took um a couple weeks to like really finish this table but um here it is with the stain on it um there was some pieces on the legs and on the pedestal that we didn't sand um off as like there was pieces that we missed um that had like some white paint on it from the previous look that the table was but i actually really liked the look it looked worn it looked um like that farm rustic look that i was going for so i actually was happy with it so after we um stained everything we put a top coat this poly acrylic finishing spray protective spray and we just sprayed it over the top we did about three to four coats and it's going to protect your table and also um it's easy to wipe off when you need to clean it um because it is our breakfast table but i do want to go and find some um lacquer spray because i feel like it would have been um a better finish but i could do that later on we did sand it between um the sprays so and it was fast drying so we love this product so this is the finished look this is how the table looks now and it's so beautiful i'm so happy that we did this project i love it so much and um i hope this inspires you to try something new and just to you know try your hand at diying i literally didn't know what it was going to turn out to look like but i'm so happy with it the chairs i also found on facebook marketplace but they were already all done and the seller was selling five of these chairs for 75 dollars, and that was such a good deal so overall this table was just a little bit over a hundred dollars but i hope you like this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up all right guys i'll catch you guys in the next video Bye bye